place that just services the whole beach. It's a very important place. And now, Catalano's Market on Ocean Boulevard in Seabrook is gone. I'd say 3.30, I could smell smoke. So I went out on my front deck and I saw a lot of embers flying over my house. There were also two apartments in the building and seven people were home at the time. All made it out safely. The chief says they had heavy smoke coming from the building when they arrived. That smoke forced Teresa Kyle from her home. But we had to get out of the house anyway because it's filled, you couldn't breathe in there. We tried to make entry, but just uh, couldn't get in there and make a good initial attack on the inside. The fire would eventually go to three alarms, bringing in firefighters from neighboring Massachusetts. And the conditions, in part thanks to Tuesday's nor'easter, adding to the difficulty in trying to get the fire under control. When the cold, then you run into manpower, water supply, vehicle placement, the whole typical Typical uh, Northeast fire when, uh, when we have a storm come through like this. Exposure was definitely a concern for firefighters. Everyone in, uh, that was near the, the building once we put the aerials up are all covered in ice too, so it's a little little tough. I uh, got a lot of gloves on heaters and swapping out gloves. While the new snow may have made it difficult for firefighters to get their equipment in place, Teresa Kyle was glad it had fallen. Thank God the snow on the roofs because I, I just believe that everything down there would have gone on fire. The fire did start to spread to another building, but firefighters were able to keep it contained. And the chief says, while the building may be gone. It's a win, no one was hurt, no, no, no uh, residents were hurt, no firefighters were hurt, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't get in a uh, penetration of any other buildings. The chief says that one of the residents told him that she could see fire in her apartment, but he says it's too soon to say if that's where it started. As for those seven residents, they were put up at a local motel this morning, but everything they had in their apartments is gone. Reporting live in Seabrook, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.